Hi everyone. So um, I'm totally jumping on here with like no warning, but uh, we've been seeing some really cool um, lacquer demonstrations with nail art. So I figured I'd jump on and kind of show you guys what the deal is. So while well, everybody, hopefully people <laughs> are going to jump on, otherwise I don't mind talking to myself. Um, but so again, I'm Julianne. I'm here to kind of do a quick nail art demo for you guys. Um, I know we've all seen the super great posts that have been going on about, hey, Christy. <laughs> um, so we've been seeing the great posts about uh, water marbling and the nail art with our lacquers and stuff like that. Um, those of you who know me, who are uh, my people, hey, I see why my people are on here. Um, okay, I'll try not to do that because I, I will have like an ADD moment and get totally distracted. Um, but I love trying like new things. When that new like geo nail came out, I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to try it. Um, so, in fact, today, I just so happened, ooh, to see, do you see my little, I, sorry, I have, like, terrible lighting. This is my office, I have no lighting down here. Um, but see, I used our, there we go, our chrome powders to do, like, a little nail art, like, demo. So, like, there's so much that you can do with our stuff that's just super fun to try. Um, I was, like, looking over the thread, and I... So I've seen the same, like, <laughs> pictures that we've all looked at. So um, I'm just going to try it and see what happens. Now, if this is a Pinterest fail, at least I tried, right? Um, the good thing about it is I can try again and get it until, you know, I do it right. Um, so I'm going to try a few different things and show you guys kind of some p things that I've picked up, like, for super cheap to just kind of try this fun stuff. Um, I'm also going to turn off my little heater real quick because now I'm, like, sweating. Okay. Downstairs in my basement, and it's a little hot. Um, so I'll show you guys a few different things. So I do have stampers, right? So I picked this up, and I was like, I'm going to try this. Um, so I actually have a nail painted so we can try stamping. Um, I haven't done much of it, so I am still like an absolute rookie. Let's see. Um, my need my last little piece. Um, I also have seen Galaxy Nails done with a little like nail sponge, so I thought that would be fun to try. Um, I have picked up on Amazon this cool thing. I would love it if, um, we came out with something like this. Um, I know some, the dotting tools were in the 12 days of Christmas. So if you have the dotting tools, you can use those too. Um, this is also an array of brushes and like, I just like pick a YouTube thing and I'm like, Hey, let me see what this brush does. Um, so again, if you fail, you fail, but at least you can try again. Um, but so far they've been coming out really cute, but I am going to do a toothpicks because that's what we were talking about. Um, I also saw people talk about mar water marbling. So I do have a little bit of water so we can try water marbling. Um, real quick, if you wanted to do something like quick and easy like this with our chrome powders, um, or even just with dual nail polish, I actually picked up these cool things. I think it was at like CVS or the dollar store. I don't think it was Dollar Tree. I think it was like the other dollar one. Like not the one dollar store, but the one where it has dollar in the name, but has a few different things. You can tell it's late at night for me. So I picked up these. So this one, this is actually the one that I used for it. So I know it's hard to tell because I'm showing you white and it's, you know, giant. All right. Enough jibber jabbering, right? So um, I love you guys, but I'm totally not going to show you all my nails because I have my cute little Easter mani on and I just did it and I don't feel like redoing my nails. Um, <laughs> I'm a busy mom of two and my nails happen once a week and that time passed. So I have cool little sample sticks that I'm going to show you guys um, what we're going to do. Now, I know one of the things that people saw was the... Um, two colors in the middle and then like the swirl up the side or the middle of it. So we're going to try that first. Um, one of the things that I have learned when you're using toothpicks um, is always to make sure that you have like a cotton powder and napkin um, next to you, you know, so when you do it, you want to wipe off everything because if you end up with like a bunch of excess on your toothpick or whatever tool you're using, if, even if it's like one of the gel tools, it gets all kind of wonky. It just doesn't work very well. All right. So with our lacquers, um, what I do like about them is that they're self-leveling um, and they're pigment dense. So like one coat is really going to kind of give you um, what you need. Um, so I'm going to do, actually, let's do, I'm trying to give you guys colors that you can see. So let's try, oh, that one's retired. Let's not try that one. So we're going to do Raven and Sunny Demeanor, which 
this is on her going going gone list and i picked it up because it's like the perfect spring yellow uh, made me happy to look at okay so we're gonna try this are you guys ready i've never been more nervous to do like a live demo in my entire life <laughs> so we'll give them a quick quick shake again it's really cold in my office so hopefully uh this will work all right so again normally you're doing this on your nail but i'd like you guys to be able to see can you kind of see what i'm doing here so i i don't know if i can tell you guys down anymore if you fall i will pick you up don't worry i got you okay so we're gonna try this so what i suggest with all your nail art stuff um you do kind of want to work a little quick because um especially when you're doing like water marbling or anything like that you do have it basically until the paint starts to get tacky and then once it gets tacky it doesn't pull as well so you do want to work with wet paint you do want to work with thick coats as well um so it can get a little messy um so if i was doing this in my you know on my real nails i would be using my jamberry corrector pen this thing is fabulous if you don't have it you're missing out this is like a gold mine especially when you're trying to do any sort of little like nail art stuff are ready here we go okay so i'm really just going to kind of wipe one side of it because i want that thick you know coat another reason why i'm not doing it on my nails is because i do want to eventually go to bed and um i don't want our stuff dries really quickly but i don't want to have to wait forever i'm sorry i'm impatient i'm tired chloe has been keeping us up all right so here's our yellow so you're just going to do the two stripes next to each other. All right. Then you're going to take your really fancy toothpick tool. Let's see if I can do this kind of so you guys can see. And you're just going to swirl. Sorry, I totally like stopped talking because I like wasn't breathing for a second. Look at how pretty. Oh, crud. Christy, you're so much, I should have taken like a one-on-one -on -one demo of like how you do these, these videos. How cute is that? Well, that turned out really nice. Now, I do have a lot of paint over here. Here's one thing I learned. I just watched the video. Don't know if this is going to work. But what she did was she took her finger. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a mess. She took her finger and she puts it on her nail stick or her nail like that and then pulls the excess lacquer. So if you have a bunch like pooling on the side, let's get rid of that. But there you go. Look at how easy that was. Ooh, let's do another one. All right, what else we got? I'll put this over here to dry. Um, and now I'm like, what else can we do? <laughs> let's add a little bit of purple in here. This is Jukebox. Also, if you guys have any color combinations that you want to suggest to me, I have like my wall of colors. If I'm like looking over there, you see me looking at my wall of colors. So if you, if you have any colors that you want me to try, we can do this. All right. Yay. More people are coming. Uh, okay. So we're going to, I'm going to paint with Raven again, only because it's super easy to kind of see. Oh, I know which one I want to do next. Okay. So again, guys, this is super fun. So you do want it to be like thicker paint. Okay. Well, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the yellow again, only because it seemed, hi everyone, I'm so excited that people are joining. Okay, so I'm gonna go dormant for a minute, quiet, because I like don't breathe and don't concentrate well. I can't do two things at once at this time of night. Um, mommy multitasking brain is done. Okay, so this one was the little, I don't know if you guys like watched the Pinterest thread that we had going on, which was super awesome. So this is the little, ooh, horseshoe. Okay, now I'm gonna go back for more. But remember to clean your brush so you're not like dragging black paint into it. Okay? Get off of there. This is why I like having a piece of paper where you can't really see. I wiped all my excess like off on a piece of paper so I don't mess it up. So now I'm going to take my hand fancy dandy little toothpick again. And we're going to start back here. We're going to pull the black into the yellow and then keep going. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh, I let it dry. Hey, that's kind of cool, though. Here, we'll do this. Put a little more black. More black. So that's what happens if you don't work fast enough. Okay, so we'll try this again. <sighs> I'm 
I'm glad. Christy, add more. Your <laughs> add more water. Okay, so we're gonna pull this through. Oh, I think my toothpick is not gonna work. Sorry, ladies. Time out. Technical difficulty. Let me just dump. There we go. Here's what I'm looking for. Um, this is like a little dotting tool because I think my toothpick is like pulling. Okay, we're going to put this aside. That's kind of like a nail fail. So let's try this again. I think I learned something. But fun. I'm trying this again. All right. I waited too long between coats. So again, guys, this is something that we have to work while it's wet. Because otherwise, it doesn't, it doesn't work. All right. So, heavy black. Let's dot some yellow in here. Now, when you're adding your other color, again, that's something you do not want to mix your colors. So just be careful when you're pulling this together. All right. I told you guys I'd be using my toothpick. Okay. So, pull down, pull down. And then we can pull the black into the yellow. Sometimes they do like these fun little swirly things. Well, look at that. That kind of looks like a butterfly wing. Anybody who knows me is like all excited that I just randomly created like a butterfly wing. So we're going to pull this one. And let's see what we'll do here. Let's swirl this together right here. That's kind of fun too. Look at that. I think I kind of, oh, there we go. Does that kind of look like a butterfly wing to you guys? I think it does to me. Okay. So there's kind of some fun, especially that top part. Can you guys see that? Look at that. That's totally like a butterfly wing right there. All right. So that's one of them. Another thing that I did that was super fun, I'll show you guys this real quick. Um, I did little hearts. Can you guys see? I did little hearts. Those are super duper easy to show you. So I'll show you guys those real quick. Totally going to need more st nail stick. I could do this forever. This is like way too much fun. <laughs> I won't keep you guys forever. I'll do like a few more quick things and that'll be it. Actually, you know what? Here, I'm going to steal one of these. So this I already painted white, um, which will work because I'm going to show you guys um, some quick things. Okay. So when I want to do, this is where our little uh, dot tools come in handy. Mine totally rolled off the table. I have no idea where it went. Oh. oh, here it is. It's literally right in front of me. Woo, it's been that kind of day. All right, so what I do is I put my paint on like a piece of paper or like a piece of tin foil, whatever you guys have. And then I say you make Mickey Mouse first. So you make like a dot, a dot, and a dot. I'll pick it up and I'll show you guys. Okay, so we've kind of made like Mickey Mouse, right? Now I draw, I move the paint so everybody's connected, and then you just kind of fill it in. So I'm going to fill in the top a little bit, straighten out my sides, add a little bit more paint to, you know, make it uniform. Ta-da! Look at that cute little heart. Purple and pink colors. Ooh, we have a request. Purple and pink. I know I'm like sitting here using black. It's not very festive, is it? Maybe I can use purple and pink for the water marbling. So then you can add little dots and stuff like that. Okay, so that's super fun. That's super easy to start. Um, ooh, let's put this over here. I actually can show you guys a few more that I did. These were actually with our gels, too. Um, these were shamrocks. I was showing the three... Um, Oops, sorry, I'm getting a message here. Um, I was showing the three and four and then little dots. Um, this was an ombre that I did with our gels. You can do the same with lacquers. What was this one? Oh, I was talking, like, made a little bow, like Christmas present. <laughs> so again, I've done this live a few times with my um, little people that watch me all the time and think I'm a little crazy doing this. All right, so what else do we want to see? Oh, I said I was going to do galaxy nails. 
Okay, so I start with a white background just because it's fun. <laughs> um, and these are like the triangle little like makeup sponge pads. Yay, Carrie, I'm glad that you think you can do it. <laughs> it's really, it's not that hard. I think we watch these videos and we're like, oh my gosh, that's so intimidating. Just pick it up and try it, right? Because worst case scenario, you're like, er, where's my remover? I'll go try this again. But best case scenario, you end up with something super, super cool. Okay, so galaxy nails are actually a lot of fun. So we, I just picked up a bunch of colors. So let's see, a dark horse, titanium. Oh, I really hope. I have these all current. Copper Penny, Amazon, did I do that right? Um, okay, so I'm gonna give these guys a little shake. I think I need to come get, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to make it look easy. It's really not that hard. I think it's just a little more intimidating than anything else. Um, when I did the, I did the geode nails when those first came about, um, and that was a lot, like that was a lot, that was like 